Hello, reader. So today's topic is process of writing. Okay, writing is a process, a series of activities that include rewriting, drafting, revising, editing, and publishing. Okay. I should remind you that different people use different kind of ways. Okay, and method. Okay, they have their own. approaches and strategies okay but our today lecture will help you write all kind of writing okay so we get different kind of topic but a topic may be choice topic or bound topic okay if we have a topic and the topic is given to us by our teacher so it may be directed or bound but if we have to write something of our own choice then it is our choice and we have to select our topic okay so this video will help us okay how to point topic for writing okay so we have process of writing for process of writing we have pre writing again drafting revising editing publishing but our focus is pre writing okay in today video we will discuss in detail pre writing when a writing task is given to you you always get worried how to write how to begin what to be written then <coughs> pre writing is the part of the writing process that solves your first hurdles okay in writing process so we have pre writing how to find a top a topic suppose your topic you want to write someone and this is your own choice then how will you find a topic or uh, how to write on a topic for this process you have these strategies like right? how to find a topic or how to write on a topic so free writing free writing <coughs> when you want to write something on a topic you start writing without stopping okay and try your best okay to write until you until you finish your idea okay then the next point is brainstorming okay what is brainstorming brainstorming mean thinking creative thinking okay creative thinking brainstorming may be alone it may be in theory okay so brainstorming mean we collect ideas okay we collect ideas then the next one is create your questions so when we collect ideas we are thinking about what should be written how and when where why okay so question comes to our mind then another important thing which is helpful how to find a topic uh, how to write on a topic so this is prompting okay we live through books okay reports newspaper magazine map note okay and make things easy for our writing okay so pre writing you know for free writing we have the first thing how to find a topic then pre writing is very important that in this process you are writing without stopping brainstorming so create your thinking is here create your questions so question may be there okay to ask yourself and in browsing is there you have to browse it lead through the books report and so on then the purpose what is purpose okay purpose what is the purpose of the writing especially when we are writing thesis when we are dissertation we are writing it mean letter report essay anything okay so 
we should be very careful about the purpose. Why am I writing? Why am I writing? So this should be very clear. So if I am going to write dissertation or thesis or essay or report or any creative writing or directive writing, so the first one should be clear. Okay. Then the next point is audience. Audience, you know. So this is also very important when we write something. So we should keep in our mind. We should keep in our mind for whom one am I writing, or for whom am I writing, right? Suppose we can say that audience. Suppose I am, I am teaching English here. My my audience are my students. Okay. If you are writing, so your audience is your teacher. So it should be very clear. It should be kept in mind. Why am I writing, and for whom am I writing? So why am I writing? This is purpose, and for whom am I writing? This is ideas. Then the next one, forms may be there. Forms, support different kind. They say may be there. Report writing may be there. Legend may be there. Real story may be there. Okay, summary may be there. Application may be there. So many you know forms are here. Okay, so. Form should be clear that what what am I going to write, right? Then exploring and limiting, okay? Exploring and limiting. When it means before writing something, huh? you should explore your ideas. You should recall ideas. Write down, you know. Write down, write down, write down, okay? And then when you collect idea, then you should select important thing. So this is limiting. Suppose you have 25 points for a topic, right? But you should think about you should think about what are the most important points. Okay. So you have selected it means six, seven, eight, or nine, or ten, or five. You know, important ideas. So they will be your paragraphs. Okay. And you have to develop these in your you know, writing questions. So question may be here. So for this person's question, how, when, why, where, so so we discussed earlier that we want to explore or we want to limit. We use question how, when, why, and where. Then the next strategy or approach the use of observation chart. So there may be observation charts. Suppose that you are writing about words. So there may be observation, observation, the sensory, you know, report, hearing, listening, whatever, whatever, come, eyesight, flying, okay. So if there, you know, you are writing about torrent, so there may be, you know, the sensory, you know, chart, the use of side by side chart, and side by side, you, you know, we chart, we use what that, that comparison and contrast may be there, okay? So these things are helpful in your, you know, in your, in your research work. When you are going to write a thesis statement, there may be an article, article for magazine, whatever. So we use this kind of, you know, use of observation chart may be there, use of side by side chart may be here. These things are very helpful, especially in your research work. Then the next one is organization. Organization, you know, we you have collected ideas, you have written, you know, and roughly, but you have to organize. You have to organize. Okay. Suppose the organization is very important. So one example has been the use of timeline. Timeline means that even one, two, three, four. It means time sequence of time. Okay. This is very important. Then. The, way, the use of Venn diagram, okay, so you know about Venn diagram that you have, you know, A, B, C, suppose B, you know, this is common in A and B, so we, you, we can use these, you know, especially in the research. Then use a flow chart, use a flow chart, suppose step 1, step 2, step 3 and step 4. 
and by the way and by the way you will be able enough to write in a useful way okay this is so process of writing free writing how to find a topic free writing free writing brainstorming create your question browsing purpose ideas forms exploring and limiting question how will why the use of observation chart the use of side by side chart then how to work with the use of timeline the use of venn diagram use of flow chart and so on they are very important but remember one thing whenever you write something okay so keep in your mind three important question okay if you are writing an essay if you are writing a report if you are writing an article a thesis okay dissertation so you should keep three question in your mind the first question does the topic interest you personally the next question is it clear enough for you to understand and write about the third question is there enough to say about okay so these are very important question again again i should repeat does the topic interest you personally number 2 is it clear enough for you to understand and write about number 3 is there enough to say about or to write about okay these are very important before writing you should keep in your mind these particular thing especially these question before selecting any topic so you should keep in your mind these important question otherwise otherwise you will not be able to present yourself in a better way or you will have understood thank you very much